fam, that's what they call me Hi guys, welcome to London Lips YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new and welcome if you're not. Today we're talking about dating guys who are in prison. We're talking about dating guys who are incarcerated. With there being a lack of um, available guys on the market, or maybe not a lack of available guys, a lack of available guys that people really want on the market, should you be exploring the prison to get somebody that you actually like and you find attractive so we're going to be talking about this because a lot of women they write to the prison they write to guys some of these guys are on like death row different things like that and some of them are just doing long sentences some it's just petty crimes they write to them they get in relationships with them and basically they're hoping to you know build a whole life with them when they get out of prison um one of the reasons that some of these women find these guys probably attractive is because they probably feel like they've got the like bad boy edge to them. They feel like they're a bit rough around the edges. Some of these guys are pretty attractive, you know, they worked out, they work out at the gym, they've got tattoos, a bit of bad boy factor go into them. So a lot of women find them attractive. And some women even find it attractive, the fact that these guys are like in a dilemma, so they almost need them. So for example, these guys need money on their books to be able to buy things. They like the neediness of him. So he's going to be ringing you because, you know, he needs you to, like, help him out. Some of the people like the fact that when he comes out, he's probably going to be homeless. So, you know, he's going to move straight into their house. And um, some people feel like because he's in a bad situation, it's easier to, like, persuade him to get married to them because he won't want to lose them because, you know, he hasn't got as many options as he would have had, had he been like a free person. Now, I think there's some problems if you're going to be going for a prisoner. So, number one, you don't know if he's genuine. If you knew him before he went into prison, that's different because you already established a relationship. But if you just, you know, started writing to the guy or you got a hookup from a friend with some guy he knows in prison, he hooked you up, um, you know, you don't know if that guy really likes you because the bottom line is, you know, He's in a bad situation. He's lonely right now. He needs people to lean on, to talk to, to send him money, to, you know, buy him things. And sometimes they need help with things like, you know, um, costs for legal costs, like solicitors and stuff like that to fight the case. Um, I can get why some people will be tempted because there's actually thousands of guys in prison. The USA, there's so many guys in prison, thousands. All around the world, there's thousands and thousands of guys in prison. And a lot of these guys are actually single. And, um, and a lot of them, as I said, are actually attractive. So um, that is probably why people are getting tempted. And as you know, there's some women that work in the prison, prison officers who have actually basically got into relationships with different prisoners, lost their job. And some of them have actually ended up in, in um, prison themselves. So I kind of understand the prison officers who actually do this. And I know you lot are going to be like, what do you mean you understand them? But I kind of understand them. You know, they go in the prison. Some of these guys are, like, highly attractive. You know, they're worked out. They've got the tats. If you like a bit of bad boy factor, these guys are bringing it. And, you know, they probably talk to them all the time in there. Some of them probably say, like, I'm innocent. And if you're single and you go in there and there's all these attractive guys and you're in a male prison and you're a woman... You know, I can see where you may fall for one or be tempted. I'm not saying you should, but I'm just saying I understand how you could. Now, every person finds, you know, different crimes, you know, worse than others. So, for example, to me, a murderer, you know, I think, you know, for somebody to just, like, write to the prison and start going out with, like, a murderer, I think they've got to be really brave and, like, you know, the crime's so bad, I feel like most people would want to pass but um some people probably don't mind crimes that are more petty like fair i know some people who have dated guys who have been in prison and when they've came out you know the guy's just gone off with another girl he's had a girlfriend he didn't really mention or you know he's came out got on his feet and he's just broke up with them so it's a risk when you go out with a prisoner and um you know, you never know. And some of them as well, they've been talking to guys. Some of the guys in prison, they're talking to a lot of girls. So you're not the only one, even if you think you are, especially now they have um, access to, like, 
you know, online, because a lot of guys have got, like, prison, um, got mobile phones in prison. So a lot of the time they're talking to other girls on all these different social media platforms. So you can't really trust everything they're saying. So it's a gamble, it's a risk. Like, you know, I wouldn't judge anybody that chooses to find love in prison. Like, I wouldn't judge anybody, really, who's going around, you know, just trying to be happy. But it is risky. So if you are going to date someone in prison, you need to really take, you know it seriously don't just jump into it you need to think about it and think about you know things that could go wrong with it as well as what could go right anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments thanks for watching see you in another one don't forget to like and subscribe bye please subscribe so you don't miss a goddamn thing let's go